Let's learn how we can use apps or extensions inside of the Gemini chatbot. You'll want to navigate to the Gemini chatbot by going to gemini.google.com. Once we're here, we need to make sure that we have our activity enabled. To do that, let's click on these three lines up here on the upper left, and it opens up this left-hand sidebar, and one of the options down here is activity. Let's click on it. This opens up our Gemini app activity and shows us the history of our account. You'll need to make sure that the Gemini apps activity is enabled. If it's set to off, it will look like this, and it will say not saving activity beyond 72 hours. You'll also have a button over here on the right that says to turn it on. Once we go through this prompt, we can just click on turn on and it will automatically turn on our activity. Now, if we go back to Gemini, we can start using our extensions. To use an extension, start by putting the at sign in the text prompt. This opens up a bunch of apps that you can interact with. Some of them might be enabled already and some of them might be disabled. So for this example, let me show you the YouTube extension. I'll click on it. It puts the YouTube name in the text prompt and now we can have it do what we want it to do. So I'm going to ask it to summarize the latest very Tassium video. So you can see that it's using the YouTube extension and then it's now giving me a summary of the latest video. And at the bottom, it even shows me the videos so I can click on it and watch it if I wanted to. Let's also take a look at an extension that is disabled. I'm gonna click on Google Tasks. Here I get a prompt saying, hey, you might have to enable this and consent to it in order for it to work. So I'm gonna ask Google Tasks to create a task for me to make a video tomorrow at noon. Now it comes up with a prompt asking me to connect my Google workspace. And all I have to do is hit this connect button down here on the right. Once it's connected, it does exactly what I wanted it to do. It created a task for me to make a video at noon tomorrow. It even gives me a little pop-up down here that I can undo that task if I wanted to. So you can see by using these extensions, we can actually get real world things done. We could create tasks, we could draft emails, we could do a lot of different things just inside of this chatbot. And that is how you utilize extensions inside of the Gemini chatbot.